Christ is risen, risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. And welcome to our Easter communion service for this April the 3rd and 4th of 2021. My name is Susan Shepherd, and I serve the pastoral charges of Belle Island of Portugal Cove and St. James here in Newfoundland and Labrador. For thousands of years, Indigenous people have lived in this land on their own country. Their relationship with the land is at the centre of their lives, and we acknowledge the past and present generations of Beothic and Mi'kmaq people of this island, and the Innu and Inuit people of Labrador, and their stewardship of these lands throughout the ages. This is a safe place for all people to worship, regardless of race, creed, age, ability, cultural background, nationality, sexual orientation, or gender identity. Let us celebrate the richness and diversity of life. Life is a gift for which we are grateful. Today we celebrate new life, new joy, new possibilities. We give thanks for the spirit of life, visible in Jesus and in us, visible in people of all walks of life. We light this flame and pr give praise for the gift that lift and inspire our living, music, art, creativity, and all beauty. And let us pray. God of endings and new beginnings, we come to worship and to praise. We come to abandon our pretenses and offer up our hope and dreams that new life might be breathed into them. Shake us from the slumber and awaken us to our own resurrections. Open our eyes to the new day dawning in our hearts, and let us rejoice and be glad, for life has triumphed over death. Alleluia. Amen. Morning has broken. <clears throat> Let's try that again. <clears throat> Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing. Praise for the morning. Praise for them springing fresh from the word. Sweet the rains do fall, sunlit from heaven, like the first do fall on the first grass. Praise for the sweetness of the wet garden, sprung in completeness where God's feet pass. Ours is the sunlight, ours is the morning, born of the one light, Eden play. Praise with elation, praise every morning, God's recreation of the new day. Now, whether you take what is written in the Bible as fact, metaphor, myth, or story, listen to these words now for the meaning they hold for you on this day. And the first reading comes from the first book of Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 39 through 44. And I'll be reading from the message. You will notice that the variety of bodies is stunning. Just as there are different kinds of seeds, there are different kinds of bodies. Humans, animals, birds, fish, each unprecedented in its form. You get a hint at the diversity of resurrection glory by looking at the diversity of bodies, not only on earth, but in the skies, sun, moon, stars, all these varieties of beauty and brightness. And we're only looking at pre-resurrection seeds. Who can imagine what the resurrection plant will be like? 
This image of planting a dead seed and rising a living plant is a mere sketch at best, but perhaps it will help in approaching the mystery of the resurrection body. But only if you keep in mind that when we're raised, we're raised for good, alive forever. The corpse that's planted is no beauty, but when it raises, it's glorious. Put in the ground weak, it comes up powerful. The seed sown is natural, the seed grown is supernatural. Same seed, same body, but what a difference from when it goes down in physical mortality to when it rises up in sport, spiritual immortality. And the second reading comes from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, verses 1 through 8. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices so they could embalm him. Very early on Sunday morning, as the sun rose, they went to the tomb. They worried out loud to each other, Who will roll back the stone from the tomb for us? Then they looked up and saw that it had been rolled back. It was a huge stone and walked right in. They saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed all in white. They were completely taken aback, astonished. He said, do not be afraid. I know you're looking for Jesus the Nazarene, the one they nailed to the cross. He's been raised up. He's here no longer. You can see for yourselves that the place is empty. Now, on your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going on ahead of, of you to Jer and Galilee. You'll see him there exactly as he said. They got out as fast as they could, beside themselves, their heads swimming, stunned. They said nothing to anyone. May these words help us to learn from the past and listen for God's word today. Now, instead of a traditional meditation where I ramble on about uh, the scriptures or something else, we're going to do a guided meditation. And this one is written by James Burklow. So I invite you to close your eyes and relax. It's dark. It's silent. You are limp, unmoving. You were defeated, destroyed, ruined, crucified, dead, then buried. That was then. And now is nothing empty, still, lifeless. Your muscles aren't moving. Your mind is empty. You stay like this for several minutes. And then now, just barely, you feel a tiny urge, just a little impulse. It's like a tiny, tiny flame, smaller than a pilot light on a stove. The urge gets stronger and stronger. The flame gets brighter and hotter inside of your body. You feel it. You stand up and go to the stone that has sealed you in the dark tomb. You feel the stone against your hands and you push. You lean into it with your chest and arms. You feel the weight, the pressure in your upper body. Just as the stone begins to move, you open your eyes and see the light. 
you take a deep breath of fresh air. I come with joy, a child of God, forgiven, loved, and free. The life of Jesus to recall, in love lay down for me, in love lay down for me. I come with Christians far and near to find us all are fed. The new community of love in Christ's communion bread, in Christ's communion bread. As Christ breaks bread and bids us share, each proud division ends. The love that made us makes us one, and strangers now are fed, and strangers now are friends. The spirit of the risen Christ, unseen but ever near, is in such friendship better known, alive among us here, alive among us here. Together met, together bound by all that God has done, we'll go with joy to give the world the love that makes us one, the love that makes us one. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Holy mystery that is holy love, you are beyond complete knowledge, above perfect description. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, source of life, living word, and bond of love, you are creative and self-giving, generously moving in all the near and distant corners of the universe. Nothing exists that does not find its source in you. Through fear-filled days and aching nights, when the powers of death have done their worst, your love has never deserted us. Even when we turn away from you, you are with us. Your presence never fails us. Your gifts of hope and new life transform us. We praise you for Jesus the Christ, risen to life eternal as your love. With the women at the tomb, we raise the strain of gladness. Hallelujah, life is stronger than death. The day of resurrection has come, scattering fear and gloom. And so we rejoice with all your people of every time and place and with the angels and archangels to proclaim the glory of your name. O oh, holy, holy, holy God, O oh, God of time and space, all earth and sea and sky above, bear witness to your grace. Hosanna in the highest heaven, creation sings your praise. And blessed is the one who comes and bears your name always. It is Jesus, God incarnate, the risen Christ, who joins us together as a community of broken but hopeful believers. Loving what he loved, living what he taught, and striving to be his faithful servants in our time and place. In this meal, we remember Jesus, his promises, and the price he paid for who he was, what he said, and what he did. On the night before Jesus died, he took a loaf of bread and gave thanks and broke it and said, Take and eat whenever you do this. Remember me. After, after the supper, Jesus took a cup and poured, saying, This is the new covenant. Remember me. We do remember. We remember his life of love, his friendship, his teaching, his dying, and his rising to life again. In sharing this meal, we live out the mystery of our faith. 
Seeing Christ has died and Christ is risen and Christ will come again. Seeing in Christ has died and Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Holy Mystery, God the Spirit, we call on you to transform these familiar things as you continually transform the world around us. Bless this bread and this cup the wheat and the grape, the farmer and the harvest, the seed and the sower, so that in the sharing of these simple elements in community, we may taste and see your goodness. Through Christ, in Christ, and with Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory is yours, most God most holy, now and forever. Amen, amen, O Holy One, Hosanna and amen. Amen, amen, O Holy One, Hosanna and amen. Blessing of sacred seed to you, the blessing of waving wheat to you, the blessing of golden harvest to you, the blessing of sharing bread to you, and all who eat with you. Take and eat bread of life and love. Take and eat body of all things, fruit of the earth, a gift of ordinary meeting at ordinary meals. The blessing of sacred vine to you, the blessing of rustling leaves to you, the blessing of pungent smelling flower to you, the blessing of bursting purple harvest to you, and all who drink with you. Take, drink, nectar of life and love, take, drink, promise of all things, fruit of the earth, a gift for ordinary meetings at ordinary meals. And let us pray. Thank you, O Christ, for this feast of life. We who feed by your love, we are strengthened by your life. We are sent forth into this world to live your way and share your joy. We are now commissioned to feed as we have been fed, forgive as we have been forgiven, love as we have been loved. Thanks be to God. Amen. Joy comes with the dawn, joy comes with the morning sun, joy springs from the tomb and shatters the night with her song, joy comes with the dawn. Weeping may come, weeping may come in the night when dark shadows cloud our sight. Joy comes with the dawn, joy comes with the morning sun, joy springs from the tomb and scatters the night with her song, joy comes with the dawn. Sorrow will turn, sorrow will turn into song, and God's laughter makes us strong. Joy comes with the dawn, joy comes with the morning sun, joy springs from the tomb and scatters the night with her song, joy comes with the dawn. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and give praise to the one who brings us grace. Joy comes with the dawn, 
Joy comes with the morning sun. Joy springs from the tomb and scatters the night with her song. Joy comes with the dawn. Let us go in faith to ponder in our hearts the mystery and the wonder of this season. <laughs> and now may we go forth in the certainty of faith, in the knowledge of love, in the vision of hope, and in our going may, may we be blessed. Go out from this place to your daily journey through life. Fashion relationships of inclusion and reconciliation, and a lifestyle that loves and treats people and the earth gently. Remember always, we are members of the body of Christ, and may the Holy One surprise you on the way. Amen. And have a joyous Easter season. <laughs>